they create vibrations in the water that the sea lions can feel with those whiskers. So if they listen to the information they're getting, they can pinpoint exactly where the fish is still hiding. Their whiskers are so sensitive, they already know what type of fish and how big it is without ever seeing it first. Yeah, give them both a big round of applause. Yeah, thank you too. Tricky start on. Come on, Dumper. I forgot to mention these modest as well. Now, I'm going to show you something that we've been working on with our author. Because eventually, we'd like the sea lions to balance different types of objects. So we've been teaching Arthur to balance this giant fish. Now, this is so much harder for Arthur to balance. Not just because of its size and its shape, but all he actually has to work with is this tiny bit, oh, hello, let's go this way, this tiny bit of the base. So with the football, Arthur's got room to make a mistake. He can correct it without dropping it. But with the fish, he's got to be precise. Now, when we started this with him about six months ago, all he was doing was balancing at a standstill. Then we started to get him to walk and balance, and now we're asking him to swim and balance. So he's got to try and get the fish to the stand next to Roger over there, but without dropping it. So, no, 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 keep going that way. <laughs> just, just stay in the pool, you wally. Right, let me just get around this corner. Now this is, with Arthur, it's all about practice. Practice makes perfect. When he's not getting it right, there's no point telling him off. You've just got to get him to the point where he knows what it is that he's doing. And once he's got it, he's got it. And he's always going back to that stand with it. All the way back, Arthur. Yeah, excellent. Okay. I mean, that's one way to get rid of it. But yeah, now, did you see Roger jump off of his stand then? That's because Roger is scared of the giant fish. It's going to take us a little bit longer before Roger is balancing it too. Now, folks, polite reminder, if you can get your kids off the stairs for us, please. It's a very dangerous place for them to be. Thank you very much. These two, they are sea lions. They're not seals. People call them seals all the time, but it's not true, is it, Roger? What do you think when you call the seal, Roger? <laughs> He's not keen. They are two completely different species, though, and there are ways to tell the both apart. So the first thing you've got to look for, how do they swim? Sea lions only ever swim using their massive paddle-like front flippers. Show everyone your big front flippers, you two. Let's see how big they are. That's it. There we go. Now, when a sea lion swims, they look a little bit like they're flying because they move these paddles up and down like a pair of wings, but through the water. This will propel them at a top speed of around 50 to 20 miles an hour. If Arthur and Roger were seals, however, their fog flippers would actually be about the size of my hands, and they'd be stuck to the sides of their bodies like this, making them pretty tricky to swim with. So seals swim using the back flippers, and they move those back flippers from side to side like a fish. Because these guys swim using their upper bodies, they've got incredible muscles in their chests and their shoulders, which means they are incredibly strong. And Arthur, he's very good at the old gymnastics, aren't you? Are you going to show us what a front flipper stand for me? Now what Arthur's going to show you is something only a sea lion can do. Seals can't do this because they're tiny front flippers wouldn't support all that weight. And at the moment, Arthur weighs about 22 stone. And he holds that body weight really well and easy. You should have one more time, Arthur. That's it. Let's get a bit of practice in. Now, this is really a bit like our version of a handstand, except Arthur is a lot heavier. 
in here. I was a very good little demonstration. I would get giving my large round of applause. Now there are. Now there is actually a much better way to tell a sea lion from a seal. And I have saved the best for last. The best way to tell them both apart, watch how they move on land. Now, again, I need to borrow Arthur for this one. And we're going to go for a little wander around on the stage. Before we set off, I need to tell you about their back flippers, for it all to make sense. Sea lions, they're pretty unique creatures. They can turn their back flippers to face forwards or backwards. So when Arthur's swimming around in the water, those back flippers stretch out behind him. And he can use them like a rudder on a boat to help him steer. But now Arthur's on land, he's turned them forwards to make a pair of feet. So when Arthur walks, he uses all four flippers to walk around on. They all move independently. And this makes the sea lion really mobile on land. Arthur's a big lad, but he's agile. He can jump over the things. He can use his back flippers to stand up and try to reach for things. You get heavier by the day. These guys can run at speeds of up to 10 miles an hour they can roll themselves over. So sea lions, they really are fast mobile creatures. Seals do move very differently, don't they, Arth? Are you going to show everyone for me? How does a seal move, Arthur? Yeah, that's how a seal moves. They jiggle along their bellies and they look like ginormous slugs. Now we're going to go back to these tiny front flippers, but because they are so small, because they're stuck to the sides of their bodies, they can't use them like feet. So that means a seal can't walk, they don't climb very well, and they definitely can't run. And, oh, hello. You want to show everybody yours now, don't you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. In my opinion, Roger doesn't look like a slug. He looks like a moonwalking caterpillar. I haven't gone mad. Watch this. Show everybody yours. Yeah, look at this. Look how smooth he is. Yeah. Give them both a big round of applause. Let them chat. Give them a big Back to 
the beach where the men in his pop get to them. Sea lions live on land. So that means they can sit on the beach for as long as it takes for the danger to pass by. But you know what, folks? We're pretty close to the end of this afternoon's display. But before we go, we're going to ask these two to finish things off with their high ball jumps. Now this is where they take it in turns to leap out of the water and try to touch that black ball with their nose. Before we do that though, we've got to wish someone a happy birthday. Where is Max? Now it's Max's second birthday today. It's quite hard, there we go, it's right up there at the top. Now anybody has a birthday in the Sea Lion building, you do have to tell us before you come in. But if anybody does have a birthday, we get everybody in here, including the Sea Lions, to give them a big round of applause. So happy birthday, Max. Have a great day. And let's give them a big round of applause to help them celebrate. That's a Excellent job. So it's high ball time. Arthur will be going first. There was a time when Arthur jumped higher than any of our other sea lions. But Roger has slowly started to overtake him. So Arthur now goes first. And at the minute, he can hit the high ball. About there, Arthur, I reckon. Yeah. Now, all he's got to do, all he's got to do, is lift all 22 stone of him out of the water and touch that pink ball with his nose. And of course, if he does, you've got to give him a big round of applause. He's been a really good boy in the display, and this takes quite a bit of effort for the big fella. Okay, Arthur, you're going on the count of three, mate. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Ability. 
Please don't forget your rubbish. <laughs> 